So next year, Walt Disney World is going to be celebrating its 50th anniversary. However, given the state of a global health pandemic, and as a result of that, the economic ramifications, inevitably, plans are subject to change. But for today, let's discuss some realistic expectations of what Disney is rumoured to do to mark this milestone in 2021. And we'll dive into all of that up next. Hi there, Waltoners. I'm Jack, and this is, of course, DSY Newscast, and you know what? Let's just jump straight into it. So to begin with, ever since the 45th anniversary of Walt Disney World in 2016, Disney has been building toward the big resort-wide celebration for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. However, then came 2020, which has caused huge financial strain for the Walt Disney Company. Through the extended closure of the parks, a non-existent theatrical movie business, and a struggling hospitality sector and travel industry that is suffering from international border restrictions and a lack of traveller confidence. And although 2020 has been an extremely difficult year, early signs indicate that fiscal year 2021 will only offer a moderate improvement, as you see there are many macro factors at play which are out of the realm of Disney's control, such as when will a COVID-19 vaccine become available, how efficiently will it be distributed, and will the efficacy and vaccination percentage be substantially enough to provide a permanent decrease in the reproductive rate of the virus. Then the other macro factor will be the overall state of the global economy and whether actions have been sustained in ensuring a robust economic recovery. And the reason why these two factors matter the most, as if there are any hiccups with the vaccine, then the essential health and safety measures will have to remain in place even longer with capacity restrictions. And if the economy is not sufficiently supported, then there will be less disposable income available. So I just wanted to mention all of that as a caveat before we start talking specifically about the 50th anniversary. As you see, the key word to all of this is it depends on macro influences within 2021. And these factors have already started to affect some of the original plans for the celebration. As earlier this week, I did a video, which I'll link to down below, discussing the rumoured delays for the Tron Light Cycle Run roller coaster coming to the Magic Kingdom, and the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind roller coaster coming to Epcot. And both of these attractions were to play an integral part in the original planned celebration in 2021 with Tron originally aiming at a summer 2021 opening and is now likely pushed back to early 2022. And Cosmic Rewind was targeting a late fall 2021 opening and has been pushed back to Epcot's 40th anniversary in October 2022 instead. And the reason why we're seeing these delays is because of a construction pause throughout the closure period, the slow pace of construction since reopening, and the expected construction pauses early next year to alleviate some economic strain. However, in addition to all of this, there were some long-rumoured enhancements coming to some classic attractions as part of the 50th. With Big Thunder Mountain expected to get the explosion projection effect that can be seen in Disneyland and Disneyland Paris. There was a content and song refresh planned for the Country Bear Jamboree, which might still happen over the coming years. And the Carousel of Progress was rumoured to get a significant refurbishment, along with a change to some parts of the script and a revamp of the final scene but talk of all of that has gone quiet since the start of the pandemic. However, the one enhancement that is most likely to still happen is Mickey's Fill Our Magic, with it rumoured to include new scenes from Frozen, Tangled and Moana, and because it's just a media update, this one will probably come to fruition. However, all of this isn't to say that the new attractions of Tron and Guardians of the Galaxy won't technically still open and be marketed as part of a 50th anniversary as despite the exact anniversary date being October 1st, it was expected that the original celebration was to begin in summer 2021 and operate for 12 to 18 months. But most likely, we're now looking at a fall 2021 beginning for the anniversary celebration, with it potentially operating through till early 2023. Which, by the way, quick sidebar, in 2023, the Walt Disney Company is going to be celebrating a major milestone. As on October 16th of that year, the company will celebrate its 100th anniversary since it was founded by Walt and Roy Disney. And it's already been announced that at D23 Expo in 2022, Disney will be discussing the massive plans that they have to celebrate this landmark achievement that not many businesses can tout. So they'll have some big plans for all of that, which will surely warrant a massive marketing campaign. But speaking of marketing campaigns, 
Let's now talk about how this anniversary is going to be treated. As you see, the celebration campaign for the 50th is going to be vital to Disney's recovery after a very shaky period, as depending on the state of the pandemic, Disney will be wanting to use this to mark a return to some sense of normalcy once again. As you see, these anniversary campaigns always revolve around nostalgia and sentimentality the slogan and theme often invoking remembering the magic and the good times experienced at Disney. As can be seen here with Disney World's 25th, Disneyland's 50th and Disneyland's 60th anniversary marketing. And it could be easily argued that after such a turbulent and devastating previous year, this messaging of nostalgia and yearning for pre-pandemic life will surely resonate with people more than ever before. Now, we do know that this is going to be billed as the most magical celebration on Earth. However, I expect the advertising to be similar to that of Disney and Forever's campaign for their 60th, where instead, in the case of Walt Disney World, it will not just focus on the new additions of the past two years, like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, but it will also use a lot of vintage footage of the past 50 years of the resort as well. And that handily brings us to the theme and branding of the celebration, as it will be using this iridescent gold and glitter effect, as we can already see in the official 50th anniversary logo, with this iridescent gold effect to be featured throughout the special edition merchandise, the themed decorations such as banners, bunting and specialised light fixtures and ornamental additional set pieces. And this won't just be exclusive to the Magic Kingdom, but we can expect this celebration overlay to come to each one of the four parks with iridescent gold decor that will match each park's aesthetic. And we're already starting to see some of these changes take place, as Disney has been updating the Auto Plaza entrance signage for the Magic Kingdom parking lot, and we've also received this piece of concept art of a refreshed look coming to the iconic entrance gateway signage on World Drive, with a similar design expected for other entrance gateways around the resort property. And the thing that all of this has in common is not only the new royal gold and blue colour scheme, but we can also see the 50th's iridescent gold paint effect as well throughout all these changes. However, of course, the biggest decorative element is going to be Cinderella Castle. As you see, the recent addition of the pink and gold overlay is not actually for the 50th anniversary as some have stated, but instead it's supposed to be a permanent new art direction that was announced to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Cinderella movie that was released in 1950. And according to insiders, apparently the executive leadership were under the impression that this new art direction for the castle would be much closer to the softer pink that we saw within the concept art instead of what we received in reality with this very sad salmon looking pink colour. So we might be seeing some additional tweaks to this paint job in the coming years. But importantly, we're also receiving information that we can expect additional special decorative pieces to adorn the castle as well, that will match this iridescent gold theme of the 50th, with it to be similar in scale and scope to that of the diamond anniversary decorations at Disneyland in 2015. Although I've got to say that there's still a part of me that would love to see the iconically controversial 25th anniversary castle cake once again. But needless to say, Disney will be going in a more subtle and stylistic direction this time around. So just because Disney won't necessarily have Tron and Guardians of the Galaxy ready for the big kickoff to the celebration in 2021, that isn't to say that it won't still be special, as the main focus is going to be on entertainment. And there are two very good reasons why it makes sense for entertainment to take centre stage in these plans. As first of all, entertainment is more flexible and fluid than that of fixed construction timelines for new attractions. And so depending on the progress made on COVID-19 next year, entertainment will be able to adapt and adjust plans with relatively smaller expense if delays are still required. And the other reason is that entertainment has always been easily marketable and a big part of every Disney anniversary celebration. And so a return of more entertainment will be a very welcomed addition following a year of character moments and cavalcades, replacing shows, character greetings, parades and nighttime spectaculars because of COVID restrictions. So if all goes to plan and measures can be reduced, then the 50th will be celebrated by not only the return of previous offerings, but some brand new additions as well. Now the first rumoured addition may seem like a bit of a given, but Disney is working on a special 50th anniversary edition of a 
Festival of Fantasy daytime parade, which will reuse much of the same core components of that parade, but we can also expect the debut of a couple of new anniversary float designs to bookend the Festival of Fantasy. And this will likely be accompanied, as is always the case with every anniversary, by a new theme song for the 50th celebration. Oh, and another quick sidebar, if the new theme song for the 50th is as anything as good as Remember the Magic from the 25th anniversary, then I'll be very happy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I highly recommend going and checking out the link in the description to the Carter Source Theatre YouTube channel, which has an amazing collection of previous Disney parades from the last 30 years. And so definitely check out the 25th anniversary parade and let me know what your all-time favourite has been. But then sticking with parades, we have to talk about what Disney fans, and that's me included, have been wanting for quite some time. And that's the return of a Walt Disney World nighttime parade. Now I've been tracking this closely over the last two years. And the thing about plans involving entertainment is they often remain very fluid up until around a year or so out from its debut, as the build time is much shorter than that of an attraction, and so entertainment can go through many different changes before the final concept has been decided upon. And this idea of a nighttime parade is no exception, as originally Disney was leaning toward an all new nighttime parade ready for 2021, but then it was decided to push that parade project back until after the 50th celebrations had ended, which possibly aligns that new nighttime parade with that of the 100th anniversary of the company instead. And so to celebrate the 50th, apparently a limited time run of the Main Street Electrical Parade has been considered, as well as the idea of bringing Paint the Night to Walt Disney World. But now, according to many reliable insiders, apparently elements of Paint the Night are scheduled to come to Walt Disney World, but instead from the Hong Kong Disneyland version of that same Paint the Night parade. So it seems that the likelihood of debuting that parade for the 50th has increased. But the other interesting thing is that there is another concept that is being considered, that apparently involves elements of the Main Street Electrical Parade as well as Paint the Night, with that concept being to create a new nighttime parade that will be a representation of nighttime Main Street magic of the last five decades, which would see a retrofitting of some daytime floats to make some new float designs, and also recreating one or two of the Spectro Magic floats as well with this limited time anniversary parade concept, would incorporate elements of all of their soundtracks as sort of a one-of-a-kind greatest hits. Which, if you think about it from Disney's perspective, this would harness the nostalgia marketing for an anniversary. But also, if parades are still not feasible by fall of 2021, then the idea could simply just be pushed back or scrapped with relatively little expense. But then lastly, we turn to the expected return and possible debut of Nighttime Spectaculars. As it's expected, that Happily Ever After will return with a new pre-show and end show tag for the 50th anniversary. That will be similar in its tone to that of the Disneyland Forever fireworks that debuted for Disneyland's 60th in 2015. However, the return of Happily Ever After will especially depend upon the current health measures at the time as if social distancing and space restrictions are still in effect, then it will mean that it will be very difficult to operate this show, and so it may be delayed. But before the pandemic, the original idea was for Epcot to play a big part in hosting the 50th celebrations, as it is the largest Disney park at Walt Disney World. And that still seems to be the plan, as the debut of Epcot's new firework nighttime spectacular, Harmonious, was scheduled to debut in 2020. However, thanks to BioReconstruct over on Twitter, we can see that work has been ongoing on this project backstage at Epcot, with the massive barges being prepared and construction progressing on the very large LED set pieces. And you see, the thing about Harmonious and Epcot is that because of the placement around the lagoon, it means that there is more space for controlled social distanced viewing areas than that of the hub at the Magic Kingdom. And so we can expect that Harmonious, which is Disney's largest nighttime spectacular ever, will be marketed very heavily as part of a 50th anniversary campaign in 2021. And so that's everything we know so far about what to expect from Walt Disney World's 50th. And despite it being scaled back somewhat with the delays for new attractions, Disney will surely find a way to make it feel extremely special. And in many ways, this celebration will continue as Walt Disney World will transition into celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company in 2023. 
But now, as always, it's over to you, the Waltzoneers, as I would love to know what are your thoughts and opinions about the 50th anniversary at Walt Disney World, and what are you looking forward to the most? And also, if you could add anything to the celebrations to make it extra special, then what would it be and why? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within the video, along with your suggestion or your comment, to be in the chance to win one of these official DSMI newscast enamel pins. And, and congratulations to this Waltzoneer here for winning this suggestion from a previous video where we are talking about those rumoured delays. And so that's it for today, so be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel, hit that notification icon so therefore you always receive an update whenever I release a new video, and also if you've enjoyed today's video then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.